right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a wonderful episode of GemsOnVogue.com where we're going to be concentrating on turquoise. But really what makes this a very special event is that I am joined by my very good, honorable friend who I absolutely adore. The man is an absolute genius when it comes, especially on this topic of turquoise, Mr. Paul DZ. Oh, thank you. I will give you the 10 bucks we talked about later <laughs> for, that, for that glowing introduction. No, honestly, this is great. I am so excited about what we're doing. Thank you. As, as two people that have there aren't too many people can say this that have actually been to gem mines all over the world and the world becomes very small when you do that because you make these contacts and get incredible buys. Yes, absolutely. And, and Paul, I'm going to be honest, you know, I went to GIA and all that, but I've learned more about turquoise from you than even when I was taught at GIA. And, and you know, especially when it comes to this gemstone, I'm going to acquiesce to your knowledge. I mean, I know a lot about it, but you, you've got that hands-on practical knowledge that very few people that I've ever met in all my years in business have. I mean, you really know turquoise and you really gave me a love for turquoise because I remember you saying, Michael, in opaques, it doesn't get more beautiful than turquoise. Yeah, it, it doesn't. And it's so funny, uh, when we were working together at that other channel, Yes. and I would work with Kendi Klepfer, and every once in a while when I was working with her, she said, Paul, if you could only sell one gemstone, yeah. what would it be? Yeah. And I said, turquoise, hands down, no question about it. The funny thing so, is, yeah. then, pe then people would say, well, turquoise is his favorite gem. I said, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, my fav it's my favorite one to sell. There's so many stories. Yes. Yeah, you know, when you go to the mines, you meet the people, you see what they go through. And, yes. and I'm, I'm honestly boggled. It boggles my mind that it doesn't cost 10 times as much as it does. You, you know, know what? what You're absolutely correct about that. I've always thought that, especially when you get, you know, the purity of the stones that you get from the Kingman mine, or of course, everyone loves the Sleeping Beauty. The intensity of color. I, and I've always borrowed this line, Paul. I remember you said, from across the room, Yep. You know, a woman can walk in wearing Sleeping Beauty or diamonds. And the truth is, from 20 feet away, you won't see the diamond jewelry, but you I, will see the Sleeping Beauty. And I'll know that, the, uh, I hate to say it, but the crystals and the diamonds are a dime a dozen in terms of how many people are wearing them. Yes. When we're in the black tie event and Judy comes in with her turquoise on, man, it stops mm -hmm. every head. So I want to talk about something else, too. Yes, go. Um, what we're doing right now has been a dream of mine for a long time. Not just Thank that you. you and I could get together and talk about it, but um, we share the same manufacturer. Your manufacturer has yes. been in business for decades. What, four decades? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. As if not longer. I always, wanted to, I always wanted to do a line with a, a manufacturer that was as much, if not more, worried about quality than me. And I'm very yeah. worried about quality. Yes. I'm very interested in that. And um, so that they can have somebody to talk to if there's any questions whatsoever. If they say, hey, I'd like to, to get a ring size, is it possible to do that? Yes. Absolutely. They stand behind the sale. Yes. Uh, but, but here's what makes me most excited, and tell me if you agree. Um, people don't know, we worked in the shopping channel business for three decades. I did, yes. 30 years. Yes, yes. And um, here's the way that the game worked. I don't think I'm giving away any secrets. We would work very hard to find a stone for the best possible price. We would then work very hard to manufacture it at the best possible price. Yes. And then we would sell it to uh, the shopping channel and right. we had no control over what they were gonna sell it for. Absolutely Sometimes it was double, sometimes even triple yes. what they were paying for it. Now again, you have to pay for like a thousand VPs. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have to do that. We are going directly yes. from yes. our manufacturer to mm -hmm. you, there is no middleman. We're so excited yes. about this journey. Well, we really are excited about it. I'm excited about our website, you know, gemsonvote.com, which of course is featuring your incredible jewelry, the Paul Deasy collection. Um, three year warranty. Jennifer, that everyone knows is the best customer service rep in the business, is going to be taking care of, of any concerns with Paul's jewelry, my jewelry, or any of our incredible collections like United Designer. And you're right, 75 years. And I'm here in the building. We've been here for 75 years. This you is don't look a day over 70. Well, you know what? You're right. I don't look a day over 70. I've only been here for 35. <laughs> okay. This is a great company. And you're right, Paul. This company, care, you know how it survived uh, uh, almost 100 years, 75 years? Right. Quality. 
We yeah. care about you. The customer is important. And Paul and I both love you, the customer. We're going to get into some of this turquoise here because I think when, when both of us team up to do turquoise, uh, nobody's going to beat us, not just for price, but for design. No, Everything is amazing. I, I do want to remind everybody, as Michael and I will get um, caught up in talking, yeah. you can always go anytime we're doing one of these shows to Gems on Vogue, which is gems, dot com. Yes. And, and buy anything at, the, at that time. I wanted right. to touch on one more thing that you said yes, about sir. customer service and Jennifer. Even when you're calling those shopping channels, and, and I, th I think we're all frustrated when, when we get right. these automated recordings or leave a message and you don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. You're gonna talk to a human being, but more importantly, it, when you, if you talk to somebody in customer service that is a shopping channel, they may not be well versed in every product that you're looking for. They're really just mm -hmm. trying to solve a problem. Yes. Whereas when you're talking to the manufacturer's representative, who's a customer service, they live and breathe gemstone jewelry like we do. Absolutely, because you're speaking, well, you're going direct, not just with the people that are making it, Paul, you're right, the customer service, everything is in-house. When you call us, you're calling us, you're calling myself, you're calling Paul, you're going direct. So you're really dealing with the people that are putting this collection together for you. So no matter which way you go, we have you covered and with the pricing and all this. So Paul, thank you for being on board. We're, this is just the beginning of an amazing journey. Absolutely. But, uh, well, let's, let's talk, talk about, about some of your favorites. I'm gonna see what, some okay. of your favorites first. Well, you know what, one thing that I've always liked is I like Sleeping Beauty and I love the larger stone and Paul, I have here one of the rings that we've got here. This has a big 12 by 8 cushion. And Paul, yeah. you've been saying this for a long time. It is huge, Paul. And tell them, because the mind closed. Why is it so important that it's huge? June? You don't get stones like this anymore. First of all, June 30th, 2012. So we just passed the eighth anniversary of the closing of the mine. Okay, that's number one. Number two, they weren't producing that much at that time before it was. And people yes. keep asking, well, is the mine gonna ever reopen? No, it's not. No. They have what they call reclamation. So it's becoming a park as, yes. as we sit here. It's, it's been bulldozed, trees were planted, that's it, it'll never be mined again. But even in its heyday, I would say that 90, conservatively 90% of all the turquoise that came out of that mine was producing like six by four ovals or smaller. Yes. To get even a nine by six or a 10 by 12 is a big deal. And when you're talking about a cushion cut, you know, that's not the best way to maximize the rough and get more money for it. Yeah, that's yeah. a very rare breed. Show, show it to me, I'd love to see it. Oh, absolutely, and, and you, you can see it there. And this is, and look at the uniformity of color. And, and one thing that, you know, for my stones in your poll is how fastidious we are about the color. Mm -hmm. We want pure robin's egg blue. There's going to be no matrixing. When you buy Sleep Beauty, and when you get it from Paul and I, you're getting the real deal. And you know, Paul, we've done our fact, uh, fact checking. We've gone behind the scenes. We know, and you Where know. Where it came from. That's right. Absolutely. You Paul have and I to, have verified it. You have to trust your source. Yes. And you need to have a paper trail for that source. Yes. Because there's a lot of charlatans out there. I don't need to name names, but people are trying to do fake and uh, imitations yes. since the first gem was ever recovered 2,000 years ago or 6,000 years ago. Absolutely. So that's a big deal. Um, I, the thing that I love about Sleeping Beauty, and you mentioned it, color. Mm -hmm. Yes. I've been in this business for 30 years, and I don't think that I've ever done a show without saying what color is the single most imp important defining characteristic of any gemstone. So when they talk about color, cut, clarity, carrot weight, Color is always number one. Absolutely, Paul. And you know, Paul, I'm, I'm looking at, because I've got a sheet here uh, of the wonderful items we did for you. One thing, folks, about Paul Deasy's collection is, and one thing I've always envied about you is your pricing. Because I'm <laughs> looking at the, no, no, really. Because okay. we've got the same Sleeping Beauty, folks. So it's the same quality of stones and all the same source. His pricing on his collection, OMG. <laughs> I'm looking at this and going, what? Is that the first payment? No, this is the actual price. <laughs> You've got to go to the website because now I'm looking at a price in here and it's like, what? But yeah, you've you know got it all. I, I love this and I love the, the suite that you've got right over there. I mean, my we, goodness, it's gorgeous. We, we forgot to mention uh -huh. that every order that is at least $75 ships for yes. free. 
And that's a, that's a huge deal. I don't know how many yes. times you and I over probably 60 <laughs> years together yeah. have had people saying, why are they charging so much for shipping? Totally. We don't want to do that. If you're getting, right. you know, even if you get something that's 40 bucks, just own another $40 item and your shipping is free. 100%. Uh, so the, no matter yeah. how many you get. I, I, I want to talk about a couple things. Okay, you go. And this will be interesting because I'm going to talk about my favorite earrings. Okay. And by the way, this is not just Sleeping Beauty. I have some Kingman in today's show yes. as well. I'm going to talk about my favorite earrings and why. I'm going to talk about my favorite pendant and why. And then I'm going to talk about my favorite ring. And it's going to surprise you, the, the, the favorite that I pick. So I'll, let's go back and forth. I'll start with okay, the earrings. Okay, you go ahead. This is something that I've always wanted to do. I'm going to try and hold that closer so that you can see that. Okay. These are a very simple half hoop. Yes. So they, they have, they have a, uh, you know, a, a lock enclosure on the back. Mm -hmm. They're balanced beautifully. You have six four millimeter Sleeping Beauty stones. They're fantastic. They're, they're not going to be so dangling so low that they, if you're a busy mom, they're not going to get in the way. These are $100, $101. It's a fantastic value. I don't know how much we'd spend for the, the weight of over three grams of, of metal and right. the turquoise weight, but that's not my favorite. <laughs> well, okay, what are your favorite? And, and this is, you're going to understand what I'm saying yes. when I show yeah. this to you. Okay. These are two oh. nine by six millimeter pairs. Yeah. First of all, the symmetry of having the pear shape in an earring to me, I love. Yes. But when you, when we talked about Sleeping Beauty and how yeah. The majority of the Sleeping Beauty uh, stones that have been sold in, in its existence were six by four, at least in the 10 years I did it on Shop HQ. That's right, that's right. Was six by four millimeters or smaller. To get two nine by sixes, and I, I have to t double check my price because I don't even think right. this is real. <laughs> to get two nine by six millimeter pairs um, from Globe, Arizona, the Sleeping yes. Beauty mine. Yes. $120 for the, again, I, the, the, the cost per stone goes up exponentially absolutely. by every millimeter that you go up. And that's right. It. And then the wasting of the cut, you know, when you, when you cut the teardrop, any shape other than oval and all that, that's to be considered into it. And then the matching is perfect. So the pricing, like I said, I'm jealous, but <laughs> it's fantastic. It really is. And you brought up a great point as a guy that's been to the mines. Yeah. Um, and a guy that knows cutting, you're right. The, the perfect stone is probably the oval to maximize, for most shapes of rough, yes, to yes, maximize the size. Yeah. When you trim that off, it makes that stone more expensive, not because it's more expensive to cut it, it's because you wasted more rough. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and you are so right about that. And again, I'm looking at your lineup here, how amazing <laughs> it is. And it's not just sleeping. You know, Paul Deasy has a whole collection, as do I. <laughs> you go to gemlovebook.com. We're going to talk to you about this little much here the, this afternoon about what we have, because we've got that much online. And the pricing for all our collections is unbelievable. Unbelievable. And, and again, free shipping on any, any order, yes. $75 or more. I, hit me with one of yours. Okay, well, I'll tell you one, one that I've always liked is um, when my gal first designed it was the full eternity in Sleeping Beauty. And I went, I love it. You I know, love it. Full eternity in Sleeping Never done Beauty. One. But, no, but you, you can do it. And what we've done is a great, Eugenia, one of our great designers, she clustered in almost like grape clusters going all the way around. Now, folks, Sleeping Beauty, very safe stone. You can wear it all the time. All of our collection, as you know, is silver plate and alloy. It's not going to tarnish. It's got, of course, the under gallery, and we have all your sizes covered. Now, the great thing about when you're calling for my collection of Paul's, let's say your size is on a stock, or maybe you want a six and a half. Newsflash, we're here in the factory. We can do it for you. This is total customer service. And did you know, Paul? that when they order from us at jumpdouble.com, my collection and yours, in the comment section, they can put, you know what? I wish that was all gold-plated. No problem. We'll do it yeah. for you. Or I wish it wasn't too dumb. We can do that for you. You're ordering it direct from the factory. Now you get the price and the service. Now you get a degree of customization that no shopping channel in the world can offer you. I think every one of our customers secretly wants to be their own designer. And, and you know exactly. what you like. Um, and you, it's so key when you talk about eternity rings, that's something you can't size. 
Yes. You know what I mean? That's so right. To have yeah. the option of, yeah, could we make you a, you know, a half yes. size with that? Yes. It's a huge, huge deal. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to talk about my next favorite. Okay. You my ahead. favorite pendant. And, and in between, you and I are going to talk about stabilization because that's also right. a very big deal. Absolutely. Right. Okay. So I'm going to talk about a very nice pendant. In fact, I'll put it next to this one. Actually, I'll, I'll put it close first. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> I and know I didn't, what you're going to do. Yes. And if I didn't tell you that, oh, you oh. might see that Sleeping Beauty. That's right, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorites, but it's not my really very favorite. My very favorite is this baby. This is a Sleeping Beauty with the feathers yeah. because I've done, yes. I visited a lot of not just turquoise mines in the Southwest US and not just Ernie Montoya's place mm -hmm. in Albuquerque, but I've been to factories that are Native American made. Uh, right. This is not, I want to be clear on that. Yeah. But this is my tip of my cap to all of those people that I met making these. And when you look at the price of that, I think it's $118. Yes, yes. Um, to do that cheaper than the Kingman yeah. blows my mind. I, I know. Said, I absolutely blows my mind. But let's oh, talk you. about, um, because I think that you and I are probably the only ah. two people on television that consistently talk about what it means for something to be stabilized. Absolutely. And I know, I've always said to my customers, and even in the gem classes I'm giving on YouTube right now, mm -hmm. I say, if you want to have fun, go into a jewelry store, look at a piece of turquoise, and then ask the person mm -hmm. behind the counter, yeah. I just have a question, is that stabilized? Right. And you, and you might see them get very nervous. And, and again, I'm not trying to pick on them. Right. They may never have been to a mine. They may not be a gemologist. They may just be a salesperson. Mm -hmm. But every miner that I've spoken to in the turquoise business estimates probably 98 to 99 percent of all turquoise today is yes. stabilized. Has to be, has to be. Yes. And what I want Absolutely. you to talk about is the yep. difference between typical resin stabilization mm -hmm. and Sleeping Beauty stabilization. No, night and day difference because Sleeping Beauty basically uses a process very quickly uh, known as the Zachary method and, mm -hmm. and the, the turquoise is so pure it has so much copper and copper is an excellent conductor of electricity. So they pass what's called a direct current. That's different than the alternating current that occurs when you plug in something in the wall. It's direct current, it just goes one way. What happens then is that by passing the direct current through the actual rough, the crystals close up on each other. Now, what that does is it prevents water penetration, moisture penetration into the porosity of the turquoise. And because of that, you don't get water. As you know, when you put water on copper, eventually that will turn green. That would make your correct. turquoise turn green. Exactly. So that's all that does. There's other forms of stabilization where it's polymer or sometimes, and you mm -hmm. know, Paul, yes. I've, been, I've been to booths and I've seen product that stabilize. I go... Yes. It smells like but it's more plastic than turquoise. You know, you know, in those cases, exactly. you can actually take a flame to it and it'll start to smoke. It'll smoke. Um, I mean, it'll ignite yeah. and all this. You know, not what Paul and I do. No, no, no. We've got the good <laughs> stuff. I mean, look at this. I picked this up from the Kingman mine. You know, look at that. And I, I've yet to have that stabilized. He just polished this for me. You know, yeah. Maricoba. He polished that for me. There it is. Natural American turquoise. Top, top quality. That's what Paul Deasy and I do. And Paul, congratulations to you and I both. We tell the public straight up yes. what it is. Yep. It is stabilized, how it's been stabilized. Full disclosure. And more importantly, I still get questions to this day, Michael, uh -huh. where they'll say, you know, I have a piece of turquoise and I've had it for 30 years and I looked at pictures. Now I look now, it's darker. What happened? Yes. And yeah. I say most likely that turquoise was not stabilized. Yes. And turquoise is a very porous mineral. And if you don't stabilize it before you make the piece of jewelry, it's going to absorb the oils, in lotions that you wear on your skin right. and absorb that. So stabilization does a very important job. And if yes. you think of it as a very great word, not a bad word. Exactly. It's going to not exactly. only make it more durable to wear, it's going to make that color last and look great longer. And most people don't know this. Stabilization also does slightly deepen the color yes. than it would be in the rough. It's almost Absolutely. like, you know, anytime you visit a mine, you have to have that water bottle because you got to wet the stone to see what it looks like when you polish. Exactly, so that's, that's absolutely. kind of a preview of what it's going to look right. like when you stabilize and polish right. the stone. 
And the reason is, is I've already called by explanation because the surface of the stones will be a little bit rough and it diffuses the light. So that's why when you put the water where you stabilize it, that closes up. So now the light is bouncing off a flatter surface, which is the reason why when you buy a car, they put what's called a clear coat. The yeah. clear coat just mm -hmm. smooths out the surface so the light reflects better so you see the true color. That's all exactly it is. Exactly right. Yeah. You know, and um, I want to uh, change tax a yes. little bit right now because you and I, yeah. Well, and, and Judy yes. are only three of four people ever allowed to film in that mine. Yes, it's true. Um, and mm -hmm. at the time that Judy and I last filmed there, I remember having Marty on, on camera. Yeah. And he said, yeah, just you and Jay. And at that yeah. point it was yeah. Jay King and me that were the only right. ones that went there. And people don't understand. It's, it's more difficult, more expensive, more costly, more trouble to mine in the United States and anywhere else on earth. Yes, um, it, it and is. when you're and you're in that mine at the cobalt mine, or mm -hmm. cobalt processing kingdom right. mine, um, if you don't have that hard hat on and they come and do a spot check on that mine, they could close it down. Absolutely, and, and rightfully so. You know, they have all of the, the strict uh, regulations because Paul, I've been down to Brazil and I'm like, I was in mines that are you kidding yeah. me. It's like, I, I was afraid, literally afraid for my life. I mean, in there, yeah. So I'm, I'm all for all the safety and all this. And you're right, in America, and also because in America, it's environmentally conscious. They just don't just dig and throw yeah, out yeah. chemicals. No, no, they do, do it right. And safety, so safety is, is a big deal. And um, totally. even when they've had, like, even Sleeping Beauty, in the latter yeah. days of Sleeping Beauty, they had this big overhang because, of course, they're digging and doing all this stuff. Yes. And they're like, you cannot mine anymore until you knock that thing down. Yeah, when, when, I was, when, I was, when, I, when I was right there at the Kingman Mine, it was the same thing. And I was looking at an overhang and he says, you can't go near it. He says, we've got a few days left and we, and then he's got to go up and they got to make, you know, those roads and all this. They, mm -hmm. they kind of go at a slant, like a, almost like you're slicing a cheese. He says, it takes two years to get from the top to the bottom. I mean, and then, and they're literally mountain. moving the mountain from one side to the other. You yes, know, exactly. You got to take doing. the dirt from here and dump it here. Yeah, so it's, it's and, really amazing. And Paul, isn't it amazing? Tell the folks how much rock material is dug up just to get your to get your stones. You well, have no idea what it takes. It's what's really interesting about that is in the old days and the great days of turquoise, and I, and I still to this day say the single most important turquoise mine that's operating in the world today is Kingman. No, yes, there, there's no second place. It's just, um, but it's never, it's not going to be there forever. You are at the You're mercy right. of the copper mine owners. Right. To, so you get a lease through them to do it. Yes. But when they, when you see that big equipment, which costs so much money to run, mm -hmm. they only do that until they uncover the vein. And once yes. the vein's uncovered, it's all done by hand. They got a pickaxe. Yeah, I have pictures yeah. of me with a pickaxe doing that. And then they're saying, take anything that's the size of your fist and right. put it into one of those uh, paint buckets. Yes, yes. And then the rest, they're going to scoop it up and uh -huh. they throw it into a hopper. Right. And, then, and you saw the sorting, right? Through the little... Yes, yeah, uh, I was there in the hopper there and I was filming it and all this. Yes, yes. yes. Right. And 70 to 80% of all the turquoise recovered today yeah. comes from that secondary mining process. It's true. It's, it's amazing. True. It really right. is amazing. And the work and the heat, by the way, it's Arizona. It's, it's not chilly. It's hot. I mean, my gosh. Well, it's, it's the, basically, it's, it's, it's Golden Valley, Arizona, even though yeah. we call it Kingman. It's just yeah. north of the town of Kingman, Arizona. Right. When we were planning our trip there, we were going to do it because it's really close to uh, Las Vegas. So right. we, pl we planned it when we were there for the JCK show. Right. And then we went. And as we were approaching it, now it's the same climate as basically Las Vegas, yes, which you is. know is going to be 108, 112 degrees I know, by, I by know. the time it's two in the afternoon. Right, right. So he, kept, up, he kept telling us, listen, get here early. So we went and we stayed at, at a hotel that was uh -huh. close to the mine. Get here early because we shut down by noon. You have to. Can you and, know that you're digging off? Yeah. Wouldn't you know, know. it though? The day that we planned it, yeah. the weather broke. It was like 83 degrees and oh. no humidity. It was like, oh, wow. so we got, we got a longer day than we suspected yeah. that we would. Now, what you may not know, which is mm -hmm. very exciting, well, you know this, but the customers may not. Mm -hmm. um, 
that they're going to be doing, um, they, they do cutting, they have cutting machinery. So they you can have cut. something that's mined in the USA and cut in the USA. Absolutely, and I was there in their process, in their processing plant, and they were showing how they were, you know, they cube it and they were doing beads, and they were they had the guy polishing, and they cut some of the best material. So I'm very proud of that. Mined in America, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of it is cut in the United States. And if you want again the best quality jewelry, folks, Paul and I, we have you covered when it comes to turquoise for quality, for mm -hmm. variety for pricing, for consistency, for a company that's been around Customer for service. 75 years. Customer service. And fun. Three, and who gives three-year warranty? I mean, I no. think when my, my daughter bought her new car, I don't think you had to pay for it. It didn't come with three-year warranty. You know <laughs> what I mean? So we've got five minutes left, Paul. And again, I okay. want to say thank yeah. you for You're, being a, a part of this. And I'm so honored to work with you, not just with Sleep Oh, this is great. We this got a lot of great things planned, buddy. It could be a lot of fun. All right, I, I have one is. last thing to show you. Yes, then, sir, because, yes, sir. And I'm glad we're doing this on the heels of Kingman because yes. I had so much fun uh, with Marty there. And he said, you know, there's basically, anybody has a gem, a turquoise from anywhere on earth Yes. And they like lose one of the earrings. I could probably guarantee I'm gonna find it in our mind somewhere. And sometimes yeah. it takes 10 years to do so. Yeah. I first wanted to show you, uh, this is another Sleeping Beauty piece. Ooh. A little closer on that, all right? Oh, yes. So, so it's a cluster ring. I love it. It's very affordable. But would you believe, uh -huh. as you look at this one, and uh, the, uh, just so you know, the cluster ring was $122. Now look at the That's single right. kingman. Yes. If I didn't tell you, you might think that was Sleeping Beauty. That's right. That is a 16 by 12 millimeter stone. Wow. Price, $83. <laughs> I know, I know. And that means free shipping. I know. That's the, I mean, that's free, free shipping. And look at the color of the Kingman. I'm telling you, the Kingman is unbelievable. I mean, that's crazy for that size. I know it is. I know. What a great value. Paul, your collection's going to do great. Um, it's amazing to work with you again. You really know a ton of gemstones. Oh, we have fun. I'll call you a friend and a colleague. And this, this coming week, yes. uh, sometime this week, I'll be with Libby. Yes. Libby Floyd. And one of the stones, as you know, that I love and am known for is Peridot. We're going to oh, do a yeah. Peridot. Yeah. I know, I know that. I can't wait to see that. Well, folks, thank you for joining us. Remember, gemsonvogue.com. You have my collection, Paul's collection, United Designers, everything you want, and the pricing is untouchable, free shipping and handling, three-year warranty. Remember, and any request, they will get to us through that website. Exactly, because we have our factory. We can customize it. We're yep. on your side. Absolutely. Hey, thank you, Michael. This has been a, thank this you. Has been a hoot. <laughs> wonderful. It's thank like old so times. Much. I know it really is. And say hi to your wonderful, beautiful wife, Judy. Hi, Judy. I will. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye. Thank you.